Hey guys, I got another video here, and today we're going to be unboxing my new Alienware 15 R3. Uh, it's the Intel Core i5 model with 8 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1060, 6 gigabyte. It came with a backpack as well, which I've already unpacked right here from this box. Um, this is the uh, Alienware Vindicator 2.0 backpack. It's a 15 inch. Um, I think it supports all the way up to 15 inch. I'm not sure if you can fit a uh, 17 inch in there, but I got the uh, Alienware 15 R3, the 15 inch model, and I'll be doing an unboxing video of this real quick. All right, so we're out here in my living room. Um, I still can't get over the fact how big this box is. Freaking huge, but yeah. Um, Actually, let me go get my knife. I'm gonna have to clean up my room after this. But, there it is. And I've already cut open this bottom panel here. Sorry if it echoes in here, but it's really nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Uh, let's slide this puppy out. It came in this little sleeve thing. Um, I got this laptop for around a thousand one hundred bucks, which isn't necessarily a bad price, considering it is an Alienware laptop. Come on. All right, I'm gonna have to finagle with this. I don't want to rip this paper out in case I do have to go end up returning it or something. But I may have to do that. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll try and get the sleeve off. Alright, so that required two hands. I only have one hand available if I'm holding my phone. But here's what we got. This box is looking pretty nice. Um, let me go get my, my ROG Strix box as well, just for a comparison. Now, I am going to be selling my Asus ROG Strix to someone that's already willing to buy it um, but there is my ROG Strix box that's the Alien Lower box now that's a pretty beefy looking box here let's see what we got inside very nice Now, does this attract fingerprints? Because I've heard a lot of reviews that this is a fingerprint magnet, but I don't think it's nowhere near as a fingerprint magnet as my Asus ROG Strix, especially with this paint scheme, the silver paint scheme. So we'll see. That's another one downside that I didn't like about my ROG Strix was the fact that it was a fingerprint magnet. So I mean, you had to clean it every very often. So. I'll grab this. Actually, I'll bring it out here for comparison, too. But, yeah, see, look, put your hand on there, and it's gonna be fingerprinty. But this thing doesn't look like to be a too fingerprint magnet, too much of a fingerprint magnet. Now, how do I get this out of here? Let's pull straight up. All right, so before I boot this thing up, I do plan on taking taking a look inside to see what it's rocking in terms of cooling. And uh, the potential RAM upgradability as well. Oh my god, this thing weighs a ton. This thing's a brick, holy crap. Power adapter, where is you? Is there anything back here? It's probably in this box here, right? Where is the power adapter? Oh, I mean, it's in here somewhere. Take this out. It's probably the manual. Maybe it's under here? 
Maybe it's in here. Probably in here. This is probably what this is right here. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Power adapter. That's not too big of a power brick, which is always nice, because the power brick on my Asus ROG was enormous, to say the least. But this thing weighs a ton. Let's just close this out. All right. Um, let's put them on their respective boxes. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. I may have to end up editing a lot of this stuff, but that is what we have side by side. Let me just kind of do that. There we go. Now this is my Asus ROG Strix, the GL502VT with an Intel Core i7-6700HQ and a GTX 970M. Uh, this needs to be cleaned up. That's what needs to happen. But that's what we got going on, right? Now, this thing. Ooh, that's crispier. Um... Let me look at the build quality here. It's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I can I, mean, I can already tell just by feeling the palm rest right here. It's got like some sort of rubberized coating versus just a standard plastic coating on on this here. Um, but let's see. Actually, let's just power it up. See if there's any juice in the battery. Maybe, maybe not. I guess there's no juice in the battery. But overall, I think the build quality is pretty nice. I like the look of this laptop. Some people are not a fan of it, but let's see, that's what, that's what we got. Let's close them up. Look at that. It's a very, very solid feeling laptop. And then let's go over to the rug Strix here. Yeah, this thing's got a much better build quality. Now, this computer here is rocking a, uh, a quad-core 8-thread processor. This thing's got the Intel Core i5. It's just a standard quad-core, no hyper-threading or anything. But it is rocking a much better GPU than this rug Strix. So I'm just prim primarily going to be using this laptop for gaming and work, so I don't really need too beefy of a processor, I don't think, but we'll see. But yeah, that's just a uh, quick unboxing video of my heavy as all heck Alienware 15 R3, and this is the late 2016 model. I'll see you guys later.